passenger to freighter aircraft, or P2F, are aircraft originally built for the passenger market but are then converted to become freighters. In recent years, this segment of the market has not only seen double-digit growth, but a flurry of activity from both major plane makers and maintenance, repair, and overhaul firms. In this video, we'll look at the current state of the P2F market and industry, as well as examine where it's headed in the near future. The COVID-19 pandemic was a major accelerating factor for the P2F conversion industry, when the near total cessation of passenger flights coincided with a sudden jump in air freight demand, many operators looked at the possibility of repurposing part of their suddenly idle airliner fleets. In July 2023, Geta Menes chairman of Avia Solutions Group, discussed the extent of the cargo market boom during the pandemic, which saw rates essentially doubling. The industry responded by increasing capacity, and Jamelis, quoting industry data, explained how the number of P2F aircraft conversions is expected to peak at 180 per year in 2025, up from approximately 70 per year pre-pandemic. But this dramatic capacity ramp up has led many to question whether the growth of the P2F industry can be sustained for much longer, particularly as things go back to normal post-pandemic. One major driver for P2F conversions is demand for the replacement of old fleets of Boeing 737 Classics, as well as 767 and 757 freighters. Boeing traditionally held a dominant position in the market for freighters, but these popular models are beginning to show their age. In 2016, Boeing introduced the 737-800-BCF, or Boeing Converted Freighter. While this type has done well commercially, other plane makers are ready to challenge the type. Airbus launched the A320 and A321 P2F versions of its popular aircraft family. Embraer also launched its own P2F program for its E190 and E195 aircraft in 2022. As airlines start switching to the new E190 and E195 E2 jets, it's expected that some of the older E1 airframes are likely to become P2Fs. Conversions could slow down due to the supply constraints currently experienced by the industry, as many airlines opt to retain older airplanes in response to recovering passenger demand, rather than converting them into freighters. Increased demand for express deliveries is another major driver of the P2F market. Experts note that continued growth of e-commerce and delivery services has led to narrow-body cargo aircraft being in higher demand. Unlike the wide-body, long-haul freight market, where both Boeing and Airbus offer factory-new, purpose-built jets such as the A350F or 777-8F, demand for narrow-body freighters is met through conversions. And if airlines want those brand-new, wide-body freighters, they'll need to put up with longer wait times, particularly as the two aircraft mentioned have yet to be tested and certified. It's also predicted that there will be less belly capacity in regular airliners than there is at present. Jordi Bodo, CEO at EFW, notes that this is due to parts of the long-haul passenger market being taken over by extended-range narrow-body aircraft, such as the A321LR and XLR, jets with less belly cargo capacity. Ultimately, production cycles in the industry are long, even for passenger-to-freighter conversions. In fact, capacity at EFW is fully booked until 2026. However, this is something that's already been anticipated by the big industry players, leading them to invest accordingly. What do you think is the future for passenger-to-freighter conversions? Let us know by leaving a comment. AeroTime is a global, multi-channel, digital, and professional hub, providing news, events, and advisory services to the aviation world. Be sure to subscribe to our newly relaunched YouTube channel and follow us on social media to get the latest aviation news.